Okay, good day, grade nine. So I've sent you this instructions for week one, okay? And if you look through it, there are two lessons. Lesson one we'll look at first is the Bahamas in international affairs, okay? So we'll look at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We'll look at international communities that the Bahamas is part of. You will need your book for SS Book 3, which is the red book, and we'll be looking at Chapter 11 and the Bahamas, pages 59 to 62, okay? And so I'm just going to go over some of those books. I would have a highlighter in your hand, and I would also just be making some notes. So... Generally, the Bahamas is part of many international organizations, and I'm going to go over some of the main ones. So we've got the UN, which generally is there to promote peace and collaboration between different nations around the world. We've also got the World Health Organization. Now, you would have heard about this in the news with this recent pandemic and how that they kind of have the idea of sharing ideas, sharing resources, and countries come together. Now, I know that there's been some interesting news about that in with Donald Trump's opinions about it and their funding, but we'll look into that. Uh, secondly, we've got some other one main ones like the Commonwealth, which we'll look at in a bit more detail in a second, and CARICOM, okay? Um, let's look at this map here. Now, the countries that are in yellow are members of the Commonwealth, and what is it that kind of links these countries together? Because they're quite spread out around the world. What is it? that makes them part of the Commonwealth. Well, a clue to that might be the fact that the Commonwealth, so Bahamas admitted to the Commonwealth in 1973, okay? Now, while the Commonwealth was created in 1979, Bahamas didn't uh, become part of it until 1973. Um, this is due to how to become part of it, you need to be a British colony, a previous, need to be previously in as a British colony. So, <coughs> not all colonies join, or previous colonies join, and countries are free to leave. Uh, sometimes, as I said, when no rules, but actually, like in Nigeria, their country was suspended due to a uh, human rights record, but then it was reinstated, okay? Um, now, generally, what is the Commonwealth trying to promote? Well, you might have heard of the Commonwealth Games, but yeah, there's this idea of promoting cooperation, consultation, uh, promote democracy and these peaceful relationships, okay? And generally, there is a, a Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting that happens every two years, and then one time in 1986 it was actually held here in Nassau, okay? Um, another one, another international organisation, this one in, you might have heard of, is CARICOM, okay? And Bahamas became a member in 1983. Um... This is, it's kind of, they have a different kind of things. It's not a f fully fledged member. You know, there's this idea of free movement of labor uh, to the Caribbean single market economy where you only have one currency. That doesn't seem to have come into fruition yet. Um, now, as you still have your Bahamian currency, uh, the other examples like in the EU, they have the, uh, the single currency there where you've got the euro. Um, okay, but um, the aims of CARICOM then, like economic cooperation, foreign policy coordinated, and this idea of cooperation in these kind of main social aspects of health, education, labour and women's affairs, okay? And here, this map over here kind of gives, um, uh, just shows the members and some of the associate members, okay? Um, then, one last one we're going to look at is the Organization of American States, okay, or OAS. Now, <clears throat> so this was founded in 1890, which is a, a lot longer ago. And <clears throat> in this, so countries get to have a vote about certain affairs. And the vote of the, bah uh, the Bahamas is actually the same way as the US or any other member, okay, um, as the Bahamas became independent, it automatically joined, okay? And this is similar to the, uh, to, to kind of the aims of the UN, okay? It's to promote peace, okay? And <clears throat> those ideas of social and economic conditions. Now, what you are going to do is you're going to complete these questions, one to five, okay? Now, 
To get more details about that, if you go to your Bahamas book in page 59 to 62, it just starts to talk about <clears throat> the Bahamas as it kind of after that post independence, okay? So it goes through and gives some examples of this and goes into a little bit more detail. So if you read through that, I'll let you read through that and some extra details to there, okay? So you've got your notes and then you'll be able to answer those questions, which is in your thing here. So now just because I've put my book on there, it's gone and added some extra things in there. So SS book three, page 144, exercises one to five, which are here, exercises one to five. Okay, I'm gonna make another video for the second topic, which we'll do in four, which will be about education in the Bahamas, okay?